a good morning. Come and sit by the fire with me a few minutes. Boy, I tell you, we are still in a deep freeze here in Kansas City, Missouri. Temperatures just don't seem to want to climb out of the teens, and I'm so anxious. I think so often of what my dad always said when it gets like this. As a rule, man's a fool. When it's hot, he wants it cool. When it's cool, he wants it hot. I always wanting what is not. Well, I wasn't wanting it this cool when it was hot, but we've got it, and I guess we shouldn't complain. As I mentioned yesterday morning, or Sunday morning, when the weather wasn't just real agreeable, that uh, the Bible still says this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So while we're shivering, while let's rejoice and be glad in another day of life, and thank God for the blessings that are ours, and uh, just keep going on, and the weather will change. Well, you know, there's some wonderful portions of Scripture, and I think the prophet Isaiah is one of my very favorites. He's given us a wonderful book named after himself. And in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse number 10, there's a verse of Scripture that uh, means a lot to me and to, and to a lot of us people. And it's just some words of instruction that say, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Now, I like those words, fear not. You know, there's many things that frighten us in this uh, day and time. There's a lot of things I do not fear, but there are other things that I do fear. And uh, I, I have to tell you, I do have a few phobias. I have acrophobia, which is a fear of heights. I don't get on a stepladder to change a light bulb without a little bit of shaking and trembling. I've got a little bit of claustrophobia. I don't like a crowded elevator. They took my friend William to the doctor in the waiting room they directed us to. I sat there in that little waiting room and said, you know, I could get a little claustrophobic in here, just about the size of a prison cell. I've never been to prison, but I've read about how uh, big prison cells are, and I said, never do me to be locked up for an extended amount of time because I just don't like closed-in spaces. I'm a little bit afraid of the water, and I love being out in a boat, and uh, I like to swim once in a while, but I never want to get in water that's over my head. I, all, all times, I want my feet to be able to touch the bottom with my head above the water. So I have a few phobias, and uh, yet those phobias are nothing compared to some of the things that come into our life that cause us to fear. And I know that we have circumstances and situations that are sometimes adverse. We have bad things happen and it causes us to fear what may be the result of that bad that is going on in our life. Situation comes up, some set of circumstances that arise in our families. I fear for my grandchildren growing up in the world that they're growing up in. Just so glad that I can cover them with prayer, surround them with love and with prayer, and trust God to take care of them. I fear uh, a lot of things that are happening in today's world and what it's going to do to a lot of us and how it's going to affect our lives. And I think when we look around, well, we can certainly see that there's a lot of things to fear. But the Bible says, fear not. And I do believe that if we really trust in God, if we really believe the promise that I am with thee, and be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And I want to remember that amidst all the fears that I have in this life. So I think about my children and my grandchildren and how the devil's out to get them and all the things that they're subjected to in today's world. I know we've always been bombarded with negative things and the devil has always fought, but I do believe that there are less things today to counteract the bad things that are going on. And so I do have a little fear of that, but I wanna realize that the Lord is here and the Lord is here to help us in those times. When I think about what tomorrow's may bring with a lot of the economic situations and, and things like that, as we get older, we may fear that our health will break. But I say that we need to just think about Isaiah 41.10 often, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. 
And I do believe that God will be faithful. God's presence will go with us. And I'm just so thankful that we can cast aside our fears, put our faith and our trust in the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we're glad for the promise of your presence, regardless of what we may face in this life, regardless of the adversities, the afflictions, the situations that are so unpleasant and so threatening. We thank thee, Lord, that we can put our faith and our trust in your promise because there's never been one word of your promise that has failed, and you're not going to fail us now. So help us, Lord, to know how to put our faith and our trust in you, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.